Instructional Design and Development Guide, 10 Easy Steps. This video will provide an overview of how to plan, develop, and produce a case. Step 1. Choose a topic for your case and decide where it fits in your curriculum. With your industry partners, identify the most challenging aspects of practice found in the curriculum and decide how best to address them. Here is an example from a community college math course. Industry experts have expressed that budgeting is a key administrative skill in the workplace. Learning arithmetic by providing a real-world context, such as budgeting, helps students develop applicable skills, not merely theoretical knowledge. Step 2. Set up a timeline for planning, development, and production, with UDL as the guiding framework. When developing a case, UDL should be considered from the outset when you create your development and production schedule. Make sure that the variety of media elements chosen to engage and support diverse learners can be integrated effectively and developed timely in the final product. Here is the timeline that was created for this community college math course. One thing to consider when creating your timeline is to block out time to review and revise your work. This includes testing your scenario with different students. Step 3. Create an outline for your case story. A case story outline includes a topic, setting, characters, a background story, practices, difficult aspects of practices, and the climax and resolution of the story. Each of these different components should be used to highlight the challenging aspects of the work in practice. For example, characters that are developed should be compelling as they confront challenges and learn lessons that are important for successful work in the field. Step 4. Write a detailed case and storyboard. Now that you have finished your case story outline, you are ready to fill in all the details. Keep in mind your limitations such as your budget and time, when deciding which media will best portray the most critical aspects of your case in a UDL way. Step 5. Get feedback from all stakeholders. This includes curriculum developers, instructors, industry partners, and students. With all stakeholders, determine if the story components and chosen media are appropriate for the target audience. Step 6. Revise and finalize your storyboard. Apply the feedback from the stakeholders and make appropriate changes to all of the different storyboard elements. Additionally, make sure to revisit your timeline and adjust accordingly. Step 7. Produce the case media segments. This entails collecting and editing all existing desired media, such as images, sounds, or video as well as recording and editing all original audio and or video elements. Make sure to provide visual, audio, and text alternatives, such as closed captions and audio descriptions. Be mindful of any technical requirements or limitations in your target course platform that might affect media production. Step 8. Test your case. Check to see that all produced media works properly in all technical settings in your target hardware, software, and network infrastructure. Involve students, fellow curriculum designers, and industry partners in testing your case. Step 9. Resolve any issues discovered from testing. Step 10. Embed the case in your curriculum. And you're done. Good luck!